I tried really hard the other day to search my mind for the first memory it ever recorded for me. When I found it, I was surprised. It's not even a proper memory. I spent most of my childhood with my grandmother. Her name is Suru. She lived by herself in her apartment, and my mom and dad worked a lot, so my days were spent with mom and Suru, as I called them. Mom and Suru came from a huge family in Tabriz, where she was born. She had more family members than a child my age could count. She always sang Turkish songs around the house something I soon picked up. And she always told me stories from her past, the days when she was a midwife looking after children. Her calm and easygoing attitude to life always reminded me <laughs> that life didn't need to be serious. Momotsu introduced me to the world. Every day I spent with her, she made sure it was a new experience for me. Something thrilling and unforgettable that would make me excited to come visit her. She defined my taste of adventure, constantly taking me out for outings in the city, spoiling me to treats like toys that took my fancy at the store, and even showed me the wondrous world of movie and television. Her favorite film, which she made sure I developed a liking to. I think it's fair to say that I watched that film more than any child my age ever did. She loved her little Turkish singing and tank engine loving grandchild. And I loved my caring grandmother who only wanted my happiness. Years went by. I went to school, and my days were no longer filled with my adventures with her. She sat at home, in the apartment by herself, watching television. She didn't see anyone, not anymore. One day my mom came to her house to check up on her. Mom and Sarah, shaved off her hair, but she didn't understand no why. She became paranoid, thinking that people were stealing her things. You could see in her eyes. There was something wrong. Eventually, she started having a hard time remembering. Mother had Alzheimer's. They came and took her to a senior's home. But as soon as she got out of the car and realized where she was, she fell to the floor screaming and shouting at my dad, begging him not to do this to her. Eventually she went in a couple of weeks later. Sat down on the chair in her new room. And just didn't say much anymore. She doesn't know who I am. She just stares at me, curiously. There's a certain way she looks at me where I think, maybe she remembers. Maybe she knows me this time. She's lost all of those memories that she made for me. All of the things that she gave me that I look back on and realize. They shape the way I see life.